Okay, here you go. You're going to live. Go ahead. So you saw the split of all. First, I saw Lucas's house. Okay. And uh, I couldn't find the main house. That he lived <laughs> no, where was it? There were about six houses bigger than mine. Oh my gosh. And uh, wow. uh, a huge turnout, you know, uh -huh. uh, raising money for the 1320 Foundation. And, yes. Uh, the Herucka lady and, and naturally Linda Barn, you know, yes. being there. A big roast to her, but I told him I don't roast. You know, I did that years ago. You know. Got beat up in the parking lot. <laughs> I ain't roasting anybody. Yeah. But, I, but I understand when you got up there, it was well, two great mouths. It was you and Tony Stewart. Stewart. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. He said, "Force, if you call me up on that stage, I'm going to slug you." I said, "If I'm going, you're going." And I said, "But if you slug me, we're going to sell the photo and give it to the foundation." Oh. <laughs> He brought me up a bottle of wine. We both oh, shot awesome. right on the stage. Oh my God! But he wow. is a he is a trip. Yeah. Stuart, when you get him rolling, yeah, and, and, and insults you in a way you don't even know it. <laughs> now wait a minute. <laughs> yes, but we had fun. You know what was really? I joked to him that I came in five of us in a little tiny rental car. Oh my God! Because we're on a budget. Yeah. And, and two choppers come in. And they said oh. those were yours. I said, what's the matter? You, you didn't know which color you wanted, so you brought them both. <laughs> I told him that only brought him from his 747. <laughs> and of course, I was right there in a big plane, Southwest C. Yeah. 22. <laughs> but we did our typical deal. But you know, Linda, uh, it was such an honor for me. And one of the things that I told her, uh, Paul Candy spoke there, and and oh my God. Oh, and, and, and uh, Jay's son, right. his dad couldn't be there. Oh. And, and uh, uh, it was just Bob Glidden to oh, get wow. up. Garlitz's wife was sick; he couldn't be there. Oh, Perdome and them guys, Beetle, sent a video. Oh. It's the first time I ever saw Perdome in short pants. Oh my God! He always told me, "Forrest, don't ever get out of your fire suit. Don't," and he let the real world see you in a fire suit. <laughs> your Superman image will be gone. I saw Don Perdome's legs. Uh, <laughs> is his this. image gone? No, he looks better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was kind of cool. And 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 Ganassi was there. Oh. And Doc cool. Watson, Ganassi, oh. hilarious. Yes. Never yes. heard him ever make a joke. He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, well, he got pretty funny up there. Great. You know one of the things he cool. said? What? He said something that here you just think these guys have been rich and famous. And I told him how I got on Ganassi's boat when I threw the high heel, you know, uh -huh. the thing overboard because they told me to. And then they said, <laughs> That was that's Felix Sabatis' boat. <laughs> I said, no, it's Ganassi. It's now. Yeah, it, yeah, is yeah, now. Yeah, it is now. Yeah. Joking, but Ganassi, uh, uh, Ganassi said that that uh, that he had met Linda Vaughn. Oh wow! When he was very young, like 18. Oh my God! And I'm looking at him. I don't know how old he is. I'm sure I'm older than him, but I'm old as her. But he said that she helped him with a deal. To help oh him get a start when he had nothing, and I never got to ask him about that. Yeah, I'm gonna have watch. To. Watch, they'll tell me tomorrow. Force. What you ask him was children. The children that was there. I get confused lately. Oh, but wow. that Linda Vaughn, and she started crying. He goes, oh, wow. "Here the woman. Here I am today with NASCAR and IndyCar teams." Yeah. And he said, "But she helped me with a sponsor. Gave me a big kiss on the cheek." And he oh, said, "I was just a kid, yeah. 18 years old, maybe." He said, "20." Right. But it was like, shit. You know, yeah. kind of freak, but quite a deal to her where she's been, yes. and the crowd, the house was packed. And then I told Lucas, Lucas, uh -huh. this little tacky, we got to have lunch in the gym. <laughs> and the full the basketball court, the courts were folded up. Oh. But there's so many houses. You, <laughs> I went past so many swimming pools. They told me, they, they, Bob Fry said, do you know it takes seven, eight people? Six days a week, they give them Sunday off yeah. to mow the grass year round. And I said, you know why they gave him Sunday off? I negotiated to get my crew back. <laughs> we had so much Save fun. Money. But Lucas oh, opened the door awesome. to her yes. and the foundation. And it was just, am I talking too much? No. It was God, cool. No. But he opened his heart up, his wife, and, and it was just a great evening. And so many people there. You know, oh, which I would we had a ball. Yeah. yeah. I say congratulations, congratulations. Now I got a couple of tough questions okay. for you. Okay. And I forgot them already. <laughs> I forgot all the tough. Oh wait. No, no, no. Okay. okay. Courtney Force. She has had an amazing year. Is 
this what you expected at the beginning of the season for her to be able to win a race this quickly and, and to be in contention for a first championship this quick in, in anyone's funny car career? We won. She's a talented kid, and she listens. She really is like Ashley. As much as I aggravate them, when I'm done, they're gone from me. Yep. As long as I'm talking race car strategy yes. and how we're going to you know, go out there and why you got to get down this track today, it can rain, get to the back of the pack if we get a later session tomorrow. Mm -hmm. She listens. And we got a great team with her, Ron Douglas, who was team with Guido, and the two of them ran Ashley's car, winning right. Emmy two years in a row. Right. And so, uh, but we trained her. You know, Brittany's right on me. Dad, I've run quicker than all of you in the drag <laughs> I've run 380s, I've run 318, and you won't give me my license. I said, you're going to go down the same road. You did Super Comp for three years, you did A-Fuel for three years, and you're going to run all year long, and you're going to get those 75 to 80 runs, and the next winter, you'll get the other 25, you'll have 100 runs, and then I'll get you your license. Oh, wow. Okay. And so she, and that's what we did with Courtney. Yes. And, and you know, Brittany actually had got her teaching credentials. Yes. Was going to go teach. Right. And, and loved the racing, was looking more like hobby racing. And then, yes. you know, uh, no jobs after she got her credentials in L.A. And everything's just bad time in the economy. So she goes, Dad, can I go back to work for you? But she's always worked in the office. Right, right. And I said, yeah, but you have to step back. Courtney's already going ahead of you, baby sister. She goes, I okay. But now they both got the feel because right. they're very competitive. They both want to be like Ashley. They want to build their own legacy, but they want to be like, I want them to say, when you grow up, your legacy, I, I want them to say, I want to be like my dad. They go, I want to be like Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> well, but maybe a little part of their dad, but not all. Not everything. Not everything. Okay. She's doing great. She's doing I would give her an A minus. I'm never going to give her an A. Okay. That's like finding the... The, wom the, per the woman with the perfect looks, that's my wife. The only one gets an A+. Plus. But I would say to her, she's not there yet. Right. It ain't about winning a championship. Right. It's about learning how to stay out of trouble, how to protect the guy in the other lane. Yes. Understand over the years, we taught them just how to find the race. Right. <laughs> just how to get their credentials and not show up at the gate and be like, I don't have my tickets. <laughs> We've taught them the basics, how to go to sleep. You know, we did Funny Car 101 with her. Yes. We yes. towed her around the parking lot for weeks and weeks in the heat. Like, Dad, it's killing me. You think it's any hot here in California? Yeah. Maybe. Compared to Indy? Yeah, no. Where do we get there? We're okay. We're what do we got? Just, just want to make sure you're doing okay. He's doing great. Okay. How are you doing? I'm doing I'm awesome. I'm give him a foot massage and I'll be out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about like five more minutes? You good? Five or six. Okay. That's fine. We're still on video. Okay. Too, yes. Okay. All right. So let me. So, but but let me let me expand that just a little bit. Okay. I saw the photos. I saw the video of you. Video of you, and she won her race. The way you grabbed her. Is that like one of the best minutes of your entire now you're life? Now you make me cry. <laughs> uh, I hope so. I had it with Ashley. Yes. When they were born, I picked them up. I picked them up and they fell off tricycles. Because yes. they look the same. When they're little, when they put on a helmet, and those little eyes are the same through the window of that funny car. Yeah. And let me tell you, when I first put Ashley in there, I thought, what have I done? Right. This is a funny car, and it can hurt you. Yes. And what have I done, but you couldn't get her out? And, and then Courtney the same way, you know, addicted to it. What's the media? Charges after, charges after the fans. But yep, I picked them both up when they won. Yeah, they got the same yes. photo on two different, <laughs> on two two different girls, yes. I, I just, and, and um, just that moment of grabbing her, mom ran up, yep. grabbed her, just wanting to hug her, throw my back out like I always do. <laughs> and, uh, but just to know that if they never want to race again, I gave you a chance to have that feeling of what I went through that meant so much in my life. And and um, there was nobody there to pick me up. I was too fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, now let me make the question a little rougher for you then, okay? Those two moments in time, okay? Compare those two moments to all of your championships. 
did they eat? You, you can't compare it to 10 straight. Uh, if I looked at any championship coming back to win 15, right. when they told me I was done, yes. you need to focus on learning how to walk, right. not drive no race car. But see, the race car does the running for me. Right. does the walking for me. When I get in there, all I got to be able to do is step on that gas and grab that brake hand. And I remember early in the season, when we come out to test, they had my hand, they they, they looked at silver tape and made it this yes. yeah. So I couldn't let go. Yeah. And, but, but all those championships, maybe not because I've had so many, right. just there's nothing greater in life than your children. Yeah. There is nothing, no matter what you accomplish, in the end of the day, I, 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 the gut aches, the sickness of you gotta be a boss, you gotta be tough. Don't be afraid of that fire. She blew up in testing here at Indy. Big oh. explosion. Oh. And I was like, held my breath, like, oh my god, I, they ran somebody yeah, please. one of the racers ran my motorcycle up to me so I could get to her. And she got out. Calm down, right? <laughs> so uh, oh. the uh, you know, we, we got an opportunity, NHRA's extended to 2018 with Bellow Yellow. Right. Uh, it's an opportunity for my kids, you know what I mean, to be a part of that future. Yes. Because I love racing. Yes. But there is nothing like when your children excel. Yes. You know what I mean? I cried one time in a cheerleading contest because they were second. I remember that. Yes. I'm sorry I didn't win. I'm sorry that I only came in second. They thought I was crying. You don't get it. Right. I'm so happy for you. Now you're doing it to me. I'm so happy <laughs> for you being second. I, I never thought you'd place 10. Yes. You know what I yes. mean? Yes. Um, uh, no, it's a different emotion. But to win a national event and get that Wally, yes. is that Wally? I remember holding them where they were bluer than that wall. Yes. So uh, it's incredible. It, it's an incredible feeling. I thought. I know Shirley did it, God bless her, right. and a few others, but to win national championships yes. and win trophies, a few women have, Shirley did it the best, right. but but I thought Ashley was just lucky. We got away with it. Winning Indy, second in the points to Robert, yep. we just got lucky. And now this kid's going to get in, you know what I mean, with a dirty diaper, a, a nose running, <laughs> run around the racetrack the dirtiest. Put your shoes on for you, step on a hot spark plug, you know, and then she wins. Yep. Oh, poor Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> the rap is going to be dumb. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah. Brittany seems to understand it. Brittany's almost like she doesn't care. Ashley would stress over losing her fame. Mm -hmm. Courtney would come back in tears for being late on a line. And Brittany was almost like, we can go to Applebee's sooner. And it was almost like, don't you care? Different type of personality. Wait a minute now, are you saying Brittany's the closest to you? No, no, or Courtney's, Courtney's, Courtney's the closest. Courtney's the closest. Okay. I would say Ashley's more like her mother. Yes. Well, got the fight in her to win. Right. But yet, if there's an earthquake in the house, yep. me and Courtney are running around running into walls. <laughs> like, oh my God, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Ashley, and I, I can't say Brittany, but Ashley and her mom would be everybody to a doorway, everybody outside, you know what I mean? Yes. Calm and cool. Yes. Brittany, I ain't figured her out yet. Okay. I haven't figured her out. Some days I've seen her mad, like I've had enough of you in this conversation. Oh, you know wow. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay, okay. And yeah. Courtney, she'll cry, but she'll stick it out with me. Okay. And she'll fight with me right to the end. Okay. And Ashley would do what her mother does, the silent treatment, which yes. kills me. <laughs> she would go silent. Okay. Courtney would go crazy Careful. to okay. choke me, okay. but never walk away. Okay. And Ashley would say, we'll discuss this later. Right, right. Brittany looks me in the face and says, I had enough of your shit. <laughs>